Just woke up, and here's my bed. It's the take one man band show. 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 Ready to take one. A lot of things we got to do today, so stay tuned. Do not do this if you eat meat and dairy. You will get fat. Water and cereal, cereal and water, water and cereal. Pardon that you can't see my face right now, I mean, I know you probably want to, but while I'm eating breakfast, I just want to give you a quick, um, well, not reasons, but like, why I eat what I eat, what I eat, and um, basically, I, I, I stumbled because I was always, a, like, vegetarian, I always wanted to be vegetarian. And uh, so I was cut as I was cutting meat out of my diet. I was uh, researching everything and uh, dairy and all that. And basically, I I wanted to be like just whole foods, all that. But then I stumbled across this guy named Dorian Ryder, which is he's a he's just awesome. And um, basically, he's like a professional cyclist from Australia, and he just rides his bike all day. Um, competes in you know world-class competitions and um he's a high carb low fat low protein diet and that really um that really like stuck well with me because i was like wow this actually works so basically what it is is, is everything as much as you want and sugar is a nutrient um but sugar mixed with fat which is like you know your milk f meat um sugar mixed with that will make you fat and uh but sugar the body needs sugar your cells need glucose and uh, let me show you my body. So here's me. I mean, you know, I'm just, you know, whatever. But I'm strong. Yeah, so, uh, yeah. But honestly, whatever you want to eat, eat it. You know, for real. I did this for my own personal reasons, and um, that's totally fine. You know, you have yours, you want to eat meat, that's totally fine. You know, honestly, eat what you want, but, um, Know at least what you're eating, and what you eat, you are what you eat. So uh, I'm gonna eat this in peace, and I'll get back to you. Another thing I'm mad at is that I I usually I've been trying to get in the habit of drinking water before I I eat before every meal because that's what you should do instead of drinking while you eat. But hey, that's all right. Um, what I what I'll personally do is four cups of water before the meal, but eh, I'll just I'll I'll wait a little bit then drink more water. It's all right though. Hopefully it works. I'll uh, let you know how it goes. Your pee should be clear all the time. That means you're hydrated. So um, if your pee is slightly any other color other than clear, you need to hydrate yourself some more. So um. So how do I know how much is enough sugar? Well, when you feel like you don't need any more and you're getting sick of it, you're good. Same thing with your food. Eat till you're sick. Bananas with spots of them are much better. Now these could use a little bit more spots, but Nick is hungry. Needs more sugar. So I'm gonna try to drink uh, water after I eat. I don't usually do it. 
But um, here's a, I try to find the biggest cup so I can fill the most water with it. And this holds two cups, so I only got to fill it back one more time, then I should be good with my water, so. And I guess what I have to do right now is um, I'm waiting an hour. And then I'm not going to the gym today, but I went yesterday and the day before. But today I'm doing um, just like body weight stuff, so I'll film that. And uh, if you need any questions on that, let me know. Oh, and even though our water does have fluoride, um, chlorine, and metals in it, um, you still need to drink water. So regardless of where you are and like what water you have, you drink your water. You have to be hydrated. You're a human. You're... All life is made pretty much of water, so drink your water, don't be afraid to, and, um, but, um, same thing with the foods, healthier choice is healthier, that's all it is. So recently I've been really delving on the topic of masturbation and from my point of view um, what it's doing is okay so as humans we are we all have the urge to procreate which means make kids and have our species of like keep going so we all have that and that's what that feeling is when you get like horny and you want to like just you know explode so but Take that feeling, that energy, and cultivate it, like your farm, and, and raise it. Bring it up. Bring it to your heart. Bring it to your head, your head. And uh, see what you can do with it. Now, because that, that, that is our creative energy, and when we release it, it has to be replenished, and then, like, then we're going to be tired, and we're going to be... All our other, other energy systems have to make up for it, so... If, Masturbation, I mean, I think it's different than sex, but um, I don't have sex. <laughs> I had sex with one girl. But anyways, that's, that's not a story. But, um, yeah, so what's your opinion about masturbation? Leave it down below. Okay, now that that is over with, I am going to do my workouts now. Um, if you watched the whole video, you could probably... If you didn't watch the video of me doing that whole cover, that's okay. But where'd I put my plans? Okay, so today, this is what my, my plan. So, I got... I'm doing pistol squats, which is one leg squat. But I'm doing... Um, I'm just doing this to um, help out my imbalance in my leg because my legs... Um, my left leg's a little weaker, so that's why I'm uh, doing the pistol squats to help... You know, it's corrective exercise to help strengthen my um, weak leg. Um, then I'm doing single leg hip extensions, which is basically on the ground. Put my hip up, hip up, and then dragon abs. I just call that. It's like the things where you just lay on the ground and then you just bring your abs, your legs in the air. And then I'm gonna do that three times, 30 seconds rest in between. And then after a minute and a half rest, I'm gonna do squats, with 50 squats. Um, we do 10 knee get ups, where you stand on your knees and you jump up 10 times. And then we do ab twists to my pull up bar. Um, 10 each side, 15 each side, and then before I start, I want to show you what I do to stretch myself. Now this, I so what you do is you lean down to it, put it on your shoulder blades, right? And this is good for anybody with asthma, this is good for everybody to do because we're all like in a society where we're hunched over our computers, we're supposed to be upright people, like we are upright animals, so this helps you get back to your uprightness. So what you're going to do is you're going to sit your 
butt straight towards the floor like this, and then just lean back, put your shoulders behind you, and stretch, open your mouth, and eventually you'll be able to control your um, muscles with your neck right here. I can't really touch you, because I usually touch my friends, I said, like, yeah, this is what you do, blah, blah, blah. But um, you, you, can control your, you can control your muscles in your neck. Uh, this has really helped me with singing and breathing and asthma. I don't have asthma anymore, I was diagnosed with asthma. And um, I actually was in the hospital a lot when I was a kid and I died, but I was, came back to life and I have like scars in my lungs, but I bet you now that I can run longer than anybody or at least compete with the, the most extreme. I mean, I don't know how fast I am, but I could definitely run as long as I want. But um, yeah, so here we go. You just put your head back and you're gonna take 10 deep breaths, that's it. So I'll do that. gonna hurt but as you can notice like I calm down and calm me down and you can tell from like my talking but um with every extension you want to flexion so just stand up and touch your toes and same thing when you want to you want to stretch your face like this you want to you want to feel your muscles here and that's what you want to stretch not just your jaw but you want to open your jaw too but you want to open it from like here and then you want to stick your tongue out from the back like you just want all your tongue out and then stretch your face and your eyes. This will also help improve your eyesight. And pay special attention to your neck where it bends. Right there, do this. Touch your back where, where it like bends. And uh, that's where you want to keep straight. You want that to be straight. And then your head down like this. Okay? And this is just a corrective exercise. Like it's for... It's just like proper position and you do that, but you know, you're not going to stay in it all day, but the closest you can to stay in this perfect position is great, but uh, be comfortable with yourself. But anyways, so that's what I'm doing. So catch you later. One more thing, a leg stretch I do is this one right here. This really opens up your legs. What you want to do is put your butt to the wall like this. Spin around like that, and then let your legs hang. Ah, and do the same thing. Breathe in for ten times, and just let it hang, and feel from like you have you have muscles um, all around your leg. And I'm gonna do some videos about your muscles and stuff, but that'll be uh, later, and it'll be attached to my guitar lessons. But um, yeah, basically you just hold this for ten, and I'm gonna do that without you looking at me. I'm sweating. So unfortunately, I could only get to, let's see, I did 30 pistol squats for each leg, 60 single leg hip extensions um, each leg, I did 60 dragon ab things, um, I did 100 squats, I did 10 knee get ups, I did 60 ab twists on the bar, and I did 10 um, like knee, knee ups, like hanging from the bar. But right now, um, that's all I could do today. So, um, cause I gotta leave soon to go earn some money, which I will show you how to do in just right now. But first, let me take a self shower. <laughs> Sometimes I do this to release some anger, ready? So I'll feel down in here, right down in here, and I'll go like this. Rawr! Rawr! <laughs> and it releases anger. And also, I like putting my hair up nowadays. I just started yesterday, put my hair up like this after I'm done in the shower, and it'll eventually like, go down and stuff. Because during the day when your hair's up, um, you get more alert. Like, hey, 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 ooh, ha, ha, ha. So that's why I do that now. And, um... Okay, so now I'm going to call this recycling center and see if I bring, like, bottles and cans, I can get paid. So, let's do it. Hey, um, I was just wondering if I bring down, like, bottles and cans, if... if do I get any, like, money for that? No, not, here. not here. Do you know anywhere that does that? No, Alrighty. Thank you very much. I'll see you. Okay, so I just looked up stuff about recycling and money, so 
I'm not going to get into that today. So what I'm going to do now is just write some um, lesson plans for things I want to teach next week. And then um, my friend wants me to skateboard with him, so maybe I'll do that. But it sucks that I couldn't get money today. And hopefully the other guy, when I when my grandma comes home, I need to open a bank account today. And I have a check for $1,000. So hopefully that can go well today as well. So I'll see you guys later. Peace. More water. More food. I don't, I'm not eating my cereal, by the way. Peas, pasta, I don't know what else. But I'm hungry. Oh my god. I'm totally ready to eat, but I need to drink some more water. Listen to some friend. And also watching Wicca videos, because I'm Wiccan. As a religion, has lots of different, um, sacrifice, but in terms of sacrifice... Done. I kind of want to take a little nap, because I don't have to be at the bank until 3.30. But then I'm cashing my check, and, or at least depositing it, and then, um, seeing what I gotta do next in my little job. But, um, yeah, I mean, I'm just kind of tired right now. Did a lot today, but um, yeah, so I'm just gonna take it easy, clean the dishes up, go catch my check, and then I'll see what happens next. So, peace out. So, I guess that'll be it for my vlog today. I'm going to go wash my dishes and then go to the bank. And uh, yeah, I'll probably see you guys on you now and um, tomorrow, definitely. We're gonna go to the gym and um. I guess we'll see what happens next. Peace out. What's up, my friends? So, oh, it was not time to cross the street yet, but I still did. Oops. But uh, anyways, I just got back from the bank, and unfortunately, I couldn't open my own account, but my grandma was there, fortunately. So I was able to deposit the money in her thing, and since I'm a secret agent, I will be able to call my operator and be like, yo, the money's in. What's my next mission? It's pretty much my job right there. And also to give you guys good videos and heartwarming solutions to your tragic problems of life. Now, let's all love and let's all breathe in and uh, hope for the future and love now and um, also love the, the past. Anyways, I'm waiting for my friend Grant now. And we're gonna hang out and relax. Um, I'll be on you now. Check out my links here. And uh, I will also be on the YouTube tomorrow. Peace. You know what, my day really isn't over. So like, I'm still gonna do it. Like, I just figured now I'm gonna continue to do, I don't know, cause it's like later. Maybe I shouldn't do my exercises, but like, I was gonna jog home and then do some pull-ups at least. Wow, you know, romantic season. That's kind of just stumbling away. And I'm single. So I wonder what that means. It could mean a many of things, just like everything in life. But I'm in the trees. I'm gonna jog home now. And I'll record some music today that you can listen to. Okay, here we go. Okay, how can I make this straight go at the same time?
Let me know if this happens for you, because I have asthma. <laughs> yep, that's right. I was hospitalized at least nine times when I was a kid. I died once, but they brought me back to life in a white room. Who knows, it was just a figment of my imagination, though. No. Unconscious dream states, right? Is that purely what death is? I love running, but I have to have all the energy to do it. How do I get my energy to live and fight off asthma? No meats or dairies at all. But it's gonna take you a little bit to transition. Cause yeah, it took me. I liked ice cream, cheese steaks, pretzels, salt. But now I like pasta, bananas, peaches, watermelon, pizza, you know, with no cheese. Like, oh! <laughs> bird. Yeah. Tomato is a fruit. So, pizza is tomato on bread. So, you bake it up. So, pizza is fruit bread. Or vegetable. This is a big hill. Still haven't stopped yet. I wonder what people think of me. Seeing the camera. Cause it's the future. Let me catch my breath. my house. Look now, here's the time where I can squirt myself with the hose and cold water, but uh, I'm not gonna do it today. So, well, because I want you to comment in the section below if you wanna see that. <laughs> Why? Because I just wanna talk to you. That sounds kinda creepy. All right, I'm gonna go. Welcome to the House of the Vampires. As you see, I have a coat hanger on my ear. It's because I simply have a cup of water in my hand. Or a jar of water. It may be kind of dark in here, but then again, we're pretty much vampires. 
but I'm a vampire who lives through the day. I like going to bed at 9.30. Sometimes I stay up late to like speak to my friends on you now. And watch, let's take this out of my ear now. No special effects, this is totally... <laughs> Thought I got stuck. <laughs> I used to be... I was in 9 18ths. Like, it was like this big. But I took him out because family was like literally cornering me and like, take him out. Like, I thought they were going to kill me, so I just got scared. And I took him out. For real. Yeah. Now I gotta vacuum my room in the hallways, my grandma's room, so. Guess I'll show you that too. Let's document my urine. As you can see, it is slightly yellow, but mostly that was a long pee, so it was, I feel like it did good to clean me out. And um, as you see, I'm going to now be drinking, documenting all my footage, and like you can see how it changes. And obviously the health benefits of even just being like this, you know, I probably had ice cream about a week to two weeks ago, I don't really know, but yeah, so that's that, I could jog. Pretty long, I mean, I'm gonna, every video now, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna try to beat my time every single video, you know, every, well, every, at least every time I jog. Tomorrow we're gonna go to the gym, and, uh, cause I do strength training. I do overall, I do med uh, meditation, yoga, um, calisthenics, strength training, and cardio. Now I'm gonna get a bike, me and my friend, we're gonna start going like on, uh, bike races and like down trails and stuff, so. That'll be fun. <laughs> yeah. I'm also doing this thing where I actually like shaved my head bald. And um, I went through a lot of different hair things. I was always a longer hair kid, but I've um, been through, you know, I was one of the original emo kids. Now I'm one of the original uh, pioneers of the future. And people were going to be like, blah, blah, blah. But then this is, you know, shit, man. Like, shit. Like, this is the future, y'all. Come do it with me. I mean, I don't know how many... I mean, it's up to you. It's the dedication. I'm going to be doing vlogs every day. And I'm going to be doing my guitar lessons as well on the outside. And also training. I live my life and writing books and music. I'm an artist. Um, I draw. I write cartoons. Cowduck and Wormcat. My characters. There's also Cool Cap and Scroggle who likes peaches. Just like I. But we'll get back to that in later episodes. Now, basically, I'm not talking to myself. <laughs> Alex, that was great footage. <laughs> I was talking about my hair. Now I am washing it every three days and oiling it. And but only after the th thirty minutes before I wash it, I'm not keeping oil in my hair. But what I do is after three days on the third day, I will massage it and I also massage it every day. Like I said, putting it up like this is cool, and it's good for your hair during the day. And this is natural, no gel. No gel in my hair whatsoever. Just take a shower and style it. Like right there, like, like kind of like what I did was, I just like patted my hair. And then I just put it up, all of it up, like, like Naruto. <laughs> And then I just kept it like that. And this is Nick's hair grooming. Eventually I'm gonna work on like, I guess I have to make an intro video too. <laughs> and I'm coming from Starvation, not starvation, pretty much just a standard diet, like where you don't eat as much as you want, you restrict yourself. So with unlimited calories that I, whatever I want and how much I eat to like I want to stop eating is getting me this. And I feel like, I know at first you're supposed to heal, so, I mean, I don't know, I just like how it looks, like it just, I feel so much better.
A little body fat doesn't scare me. Well, we'll track to progress. Again, my hair uses no gel. Just totally natural, just hair. Just had me moving it around after the shower. So this is where you now comes in, and this is where we all hang out. That's me. Okay, bye. No. Oh. <laughs> so I don't know if you want me to say your last name, but I'm just gonna say Brittany, the crazy girl who likes to jump on cars, <laughs> just like me. I like to get rolled over by cars. Just kidding. Okay, so let's see. Where is? Oh my God! Wow, they're not even that there anymore. But I remember I got rolled over by a car, and I got up and walked away, and my whole pants, there's the scars down there, that's just from, um, like, the ground hitting me. The car tires went over on this side, but just the floor, the pressure cut my leg, and the knee one seems to have healed. But, yeah. No way. Ah. Fly away. Fly away.
Probably from running and stuff. I need to go eat some food. Sorry for the um, bad performance, but um, take one is always going to be different, and I will always be here to sing for you. So um, I'm gonna go eat some more food now. I guess I'll show you what I'm eating as well, since I've been vlogging all day. And I guess this is how long my episodes are gonna be. I mean, however the day went is how long it's gonna do. So vlog. This is vlog series one for real. I mean, I've been doing it for a little bit. Like, if you check my old, my, my old stuff out. I'm sorry, I'm stuttering right now. I'm just like, my heart's racing real fast. But, um, I'm gonna go make some food. I found the camera. What a bright time. Whoa, it's not a bright time. It is dark, actually. So let's go to my room. Oh, well, so, this was first episode of the Take One Man Band Show. That's right. The Take One Man Band Show. Now, I'm going to edit the videos, and I will see you tomorrow.